when school last time, my friends used to call me Billy the Pooh. <laughs> and I, I always tell them, yeah, my parents uh, named me after the Pooh Bear, but without the colors. Uh, Alright? <laughs> okay. Uh, if I rewind back to like how many years ago, I think about uh, 15 years ago, okay, when I'm in uh, primary school, okay, I was a very, uh, very weak uh, child, okay. I always got sick, okay, at least uh, once in a week, and I was continuous uh, hospitalized uh, for a very bad asthma, okay. And my parents is very worried about me, okay, and um, they sent me for uh, a lot of sports to, to strengthen my body. Uh, and I still remember the first sports that I enter is uh, swimming, okay. And uh, uh, I still remember the first lesson, I was very uh, afraid of the water. By the end, I survived, okay, and I did very well. So I was the state uh, swimmer at one point of time. And, uh, after couples of uh, medals, and I was, uh, I was the state swimmer after that, okay, and that started the life of me as a uh, you know, begin to be very very active in schools, and I also into hockey and basketballs. So every day after school, I will ha have uh, sports activities to attend to, okay, yeah. So I'm sure you all don't really believe because if you look at my size now. I, so huge, right? <laughs> so it's my, my school days is like what you see now minus twenty kg. Yeah, that's my size at the point of time. All right, and I was also very uh, active in uh, societies. Okay, I was in the Leo Club where I can meet a lot of people. So usually, Leo Club in school last time are uh, where you find your girlfriends or your boyfriends. <laughs> so I was in that club. I was a club president. Okay, and. And then I move on to secondary school. Okay, my secondary school, I was quite rebellious because I was very curious to know more things. Okay, for example, if the teachers come into my class and they just write on the blackboard, because most of the children those days they used to do it, just come into the class and just write on the blackboard and ask us to copy down, and I refuse to copy it. I said, why should I copy it? I can just follow step for my friends. Because <laughs> basically the teacher doesn't teach anything, just copy copy everything you know on the blackboard, all right. So uh, so I was asked to stand outside the class several times, uh, many many times actually, all right. And I was quite famous uh, among the teachers for being uh, difficult. But they always ask a lot of questions and I always ask why I should do this. Is there another way to do it? Because the relation system is that if you're a student, you just listen to the teachers. What they ask you to do, you just do it. Don't ask so many questions. Okay. Okay. And then, uh, after school, after my uni, my first job, I still remember, uh, I, I straight away went to sales because sales is what I want to develop myself. Because I think sales is, is very uh, important. It's a skill that you need to use it every day. Okay. If you are a businessman, you need to convince your business partner, you need to convince the bankers how you could sell your ideas. So I think it's very important. Every day, lucky or not, you need to use your selling skills. So uh, that's how I am now in Apex. I'm in sales still after seven years. Right, thank you. That's all I would like to share with you. I'm sure you agree with me that uh, we can learn a lot from Eric's uh, parents uh, parenting skills from a sickly <laughs> child, now it's a big uh, strapping young man. Okay, the next speaker, uh, uh, we have Miss Tan Pei Ling, and the topic is extremely interesting. Uh, her ti the title of the speech is Tough Lady. Wow. Thank you, Toastmaster. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning, fellow Toastmaster. My name is Pei mm -hmm. Ling. Okay, I'm proud to be given the opportunity to have my first speech here in the Toastmaster meeting. Okay, that is the icebreaker about myself. So those of you who know me for 10 years in FX, I'm sure some of you might call me tough lady in your heart. Okay, so today, let me this tough lady to open up herself and share with you about 
more in depth about herself. I actually came from a small science family, okay, um, not very well off. My parents was just a hawker doing a small scale of business in confectionery. So I'm a KL girl, local KL girl, stay in the most noisiest part of the town that was Pudu. <laughs> <laughs> so um, I'm the eldest daughter okay, with um, two younger brothers. So as I mentioned to you just now, my parents are couples, okay, so since young, I was teach, I, I was taught okay, to be hands-on, okay, and for each of the accomplishments you need to achieve, you need to actually hands-on and do it and grasp it. So um, my parents they are not very well off, but they have taught me the very important core values of being mankind. So they always taught me, for each of the accomplishments or success you want to do, okay, you have to really down on the earth, okay, do it yourself, and finally you achieve it. I was study in my uh, secondary school in uh, Hudu, Hudu Girls School. So uh, later, okay, with this uh, core value of life, uh, I think um, being taught by my parents, okay, I have to study hard, study smart, okay, and went through and success uh, in excellent result in my both primary and also secondary school. And finally, I entered into University of S uh, USM in Penang. So um, finally, I did my pharmacist degree, and here I am. I'm, I'm a pharmacist now. <clears throat> uh, during my varsity time in USM, I got to know my dearest husband, okay, which is my cosmic. Mm -hmm. So both fell in love, okay, and formed a family of us after our graduations. My hubby is a very nice, charming guy. Okay, who supported me, loved me. In actual fact, without him, okay, I will not be that strong, okay, and be where I am now. Okay. We have two pretty princesses, okay, um, of eight years old. Both eight years old, yeah. <laughs> they are not twins. Yeah, they are not twins. So one was actually beginning of the year and another one. Came after. So I believe that. Because of that, many stories was flying around. She was a tough lady. <laughs> so um, the second youngest one, okay, was not supposed to be born in same year, okay, in 2004, but in that came out earlier, and especially during that year was I think apex toxic. Okay, so it was done. I mean, it was born. Okay, uh, the night, okay, once I finish the stock tape oh. in Apex. So, <clears throat> so I have gone through that tough years. So you just imagine, took care of uh, two little kids. They are almost the same age, okay? And also need to work as a career lady, working lady. So it's not an easy thing at all. Am I right, man? Mm -hmm. <laughs> still Oh, you're still a boy. Okay. <laughs> so um, it's not easy at all. Okay, so <clears throat> uh, have to take, to, I mean, take care of them. Okay, they are young. I just send them to nurseries. Yeah. So at night, I need to say after work. Okay. So I need to fetch them back. Okay, from the nursery and take care of them myself. In actual fact, until now, I don't really employ. I don't have any mates. Okay. So throughout the weekends. Okay, I need to do all the housework myself. Okay, do it on my own. Okay, so I don't depend on any maid. Okay, and um, after work every day. Okay, I also need to go back quickly, rush back. Rachel always asks. Yeah, yeah, I need to rush back. Okay, so I need to prepare dinu. If I don't have to eat, my girls also need to eat. So I need to go back, prepare dinu for them. Steam fish, like Mr. Chong always said. <laughs> <clears throat> so um, that is about myself. So I think for those of you you believe in zodiac, I'm not sure how many of you you believe in zodiac star. Okay, I would think that I do possess quite a long, a lot of strong trait of being a Capricorn. So that means to say I'm a Capricornian. Okay, born in December. Yeah. So Capricornian basically they are tough people. 
yeah, tough. They have strong will, yeah, calm and confidence, of course. So with all the behavior of these Capricornians, okay, thus I think many people address me tough lady. I'm not sure, okay. In behind, I, I think, I think so, yeah. So I think due to the short time of just five minutes, okay, I think that's all at the moment I just would like to share with you, okay, and finally, I would like to end my quote, okay, the barrier of the success is the fear of failure, so don't afraid of any failure, okay, just do it, okay, and that's all I thank you.